Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a clean with me, which is an ultimate laundry edition. And organized with me, I'm going through the kids' toys, getting ready for the holiday season because we get a whole new influx of new toys and wanted to be sure that everything was organized, gone through, thrown away, and donated before we hit the holiday season. For all of the inspiration today, stay tuned. Like I said to you guys, today we are doing an Organize and Clean With Me, which is an ultimate laundry edition combined with a toy organization video. As you guys can see, this is clearly a part one to my cleaning videos this week. I have a lot of holiday decor to go through in the corner of my main floor. I just have it all stacked up because I need to finish decorating for you guys. I have a Decorate With Me part two going live on Friday morning to give you guys all of the holiday decor inspiration this year. I have gone with a Scandinavian, like Nordic type of boho feel, and I'm really loving the way that everything is coming together. Lots of greenery and lighting is all about this year's theme, along with some natural dried florals and grasses, things like that. So I'm loving how the theme is coming together so far, but it is an absolute mess on my main floor. And again, in this video, I always itch my nose when I am doing laundry or cleaning, things like that, just because the lint and the dust really gets to my nose. My allergies go crazy and the kids are home with me on this particular day. They both stayed home with me. I had Kaya stay home from daycare because I was not supposed to drive this day. I had a migraine the day before and usually for a couple days after I'll make sure that I don't drive. So the kids are both home with me and hanging out. Kaya was such a big helper today cleaning and telling me what toys she wanted to keep or donate. So this is just a real life laundry day want to inspire you guys if you have a pile of laundry like I do laying around the house get to it just sit down bring it downstairs throw on a good show that's my favorite thing to do so you'll see me looking over my shoulder a lot in this video too because I've got some good shows on we started watching some Christmas movies already because we're trying to get into the holiday spirit so that I can finish decorating so anyways giving you guys all of the cleaning inspiration today and organizational ideas for your toys. I spent about $20 from Target on bins. I did three of the bins that can slide underneath a bed and then I also got a bunch of the 99 cent like Sterilite or Sterilite whatever bins that um, I used for the smaller toys and then I also picked up like some $2 labels all from Target like 20 bucks and it has already been like a huge lifesaver in regards to like toy organization. Now Kaya can find her toys so much easier. I can keep the little toys up tucked underneath her bed by her dollhouse, um, like all of her dollhouse toys, her Barbies, everything is right there by her dollhouse so she can just take it out and then put it back in the bins as she is playing. So anyways, like I said, already been a huge lifesaver. Highly recommend that you guys organize out your toys like this. This was inspired by the home edit. I wanted to do like rainbow colored like organization, but the kids just don't have enough toys yet to like rainbow organize them. But eventually that is my plan. And another tip I wanted to include is when I am putting away the kids' clothes, like when I'm hanging them up, um, which you guys will see in the part two to this video, um, when I hang up the kids' clothes, I will organize them um, by color and it just makes it so much easier to put together outfits and to find the shirts that I'm looking for. Um, or if Kaya wants like a specific shirt, it's so easy to find it if you have them sorted by color in the closet. It takes a little bit more time time, but not that much more time. And it is such a time saver in the end when you're looking for the outfits. So anyways, guys, all right, find all of the inspiration in today's video. Hang out with me, do your laundry, get all the things done and check off that to-do list. All right, when it came to organizing the kids' toys, I decided to use the three larger bins for Barbies, um, bar or baby dolls, and then also dollhouse toys. So dollhouse, 
would be like all of the furniture and like the little accessories and things like that. Um, and then obviously Barbie clothes and Barbies will go into the Barbie bin and that's just like general Barbie. So even like Kaya's little Disney toys, like her Jasmine and her Rapunzel and her Elsa all will go in there. Um, and then all the baby doll stuff will have like baby dolls, um, the smaller ones anyway, along with their clothes and their brushes and their accessories. So and here you can see me asking Kaya if she wants to hang on to certain toys she's had for a long time or she would like to donate them. Um, and then I did go ahead and throw away a bunch of broken toys. I had Kaya bring me the garbage can so I could throw away those toys that just sit at the bottom of the bin that are just half broken, unused, and no longer need to be in the toy bin. So, but the working toys I do donate and I'm keeping a pile behind me. So that is how I go through the kids' toys and I'll typically do this a couple of times a year, at least three times a year I'd say. Um, I did this back in the summer and already had so many toys that we were ready to get rid of again and to toss. So anyway, hope I give you guys some inspiration in regards to toy organization. Um, another thing I wanted to add is in the smaller bins, I put animals in one. I put food in another, Legos in another, and then Rikers cars in um, one of the last bins. And I do have an extra bin left over so that if we have any runoff or I come up with a new category for like toy, toy organization, I have one on hand, which is really nice. And again, everything is from Target. I will have it linked down below for you guys. And it was so cheap for 20 bucks. It just was so worth it to get all of the toys organized. And now the kids can find their toys much easier um, and find exactly what they're wanting to play with and take each bin out one at a time and really thoroughly enjoy the toys that they have. I also wanted to mention that I found, okay, so like speaking of a new influx of toys, um, I found down in the basement in the guest room that there was a brand new dollhouse from Christmas last year that Santa brought and we just hadn't put it together yet because my thought that some of the parts were missing, but I ended up putting it together and it went together just fine. I don't know if it was like maybe some eggnog or what that had gotten to my thinking, him thinking that, you know, the dollhouse was broken, but I put it together um, and now Kaya has a brand new dollhouse upstairs and I was able to get rid of a couple of her broken ones. So she's enjoying that new dollhouse and enjoying her new doll organization and is able to play with her toys so much easier. So anyways, how do you guys organize your toys? I'm always into looking at Pinterest ideas for toy organization because I feel like it is the one thing I really struggle with is organization in the house. Um, you know, as you you know, buy your first home and you start having kids and the house just starts filling up with all of the things. I have quickly learned that uh, organization is a needed, a much, much needed thing for all of the things in the house. So anyway, like I said, now that we have just stored up enough of like the toys, I felt that it was necessary to start organizing them. So anyway, in the comments down below, tell me how you guys organize your toys out. Do you have like bins, baskets, etc.? Do you organize them similar so that there's like like toys, like similar toys in the same bin so it's easier for the kids to play with? Let me know down in the comments below.
And back to laundry. So I like to use our laundry countertop whenever I have the chance if there's not too much laundry piled up on there. It's so convenient to like fold the clothes and I always have hangers just hanging out in that laundry closet. Um, also, I do have a DIY for this laundry room over on the Eminem Rustics channel. It is one of our most popular videos over there and has been like repinned so many times over on Pinterest, which I can see why because we did this closet for less than $100. I did the sponge wall myself. I show you guys exactly how I do it in the laundry room video. Um, like I said, less than $100. It was like 80 bucks for us to do the countertop and the shelves and to repaint the entire room. And it is such a useful space now and doesn't have like those just like plain boring wire shelving units like above which you can barely even like reach to the tippy top um, for like all the laundry detergent and things like that. This way uh, the laundry room is set up so I can reach the laundry detergent and the fabric softener and all of the stain remover things, the things that I use on a regular basis and then on the tippy top shelf I put items that I don't reach for too often or just like once a month. So for example I keep all of my extra cleaning products from Grove Collaborative up on top so that includes all of my Mrs. Meyers cleaning products and my method cleaning products. I will have a link for Grove down below in the description box. I always have it linked there for you guys. If you are a new user to Grove you can get the free five piece Mrs. Meyers set and this is the best time of year to do it because you can choose the peppermint scent and that is your girl's favorite scent over from Grove Collaborative. So again I'll have that link down below even if you're not a new user you can also get like a free um, pack of of walnut scrubbers and the pricing is very similar to like Target and Walmart as far as cleaners. I find that the method products are even cheaper over on the uh, Grove Collaborative site. So definitely go and give them a check out because I utilize it all the time and I always skip the months that I like don't need new product. And another one of my most favorite products is the European dish cloth. I get a lot of questions as to what I use to shine up my countertops. And that's what I use is the um, European dish cloth in combination with the Mrs. Meyers um, multi-surface spray and then I also have like a homemade um, thieves spray countertop spray that I made myself and both of those things will really shine up the countertop nice and good so anyway getting into the rest of the laundry folding all of the towels everything all of my laundry needed to be done and I do this all the time where I'll just like put it off for like two weeks and then I'll sit down and fold everything are you guys let me know are you a folder and put away like right away kind of person or do you just let it like stack up? Do you just shove stuff into drawers without folding it? Do you leave it in baskets? I tend to leave things in baskets for quite a while, but it was driving us crazy, so I decided to put everything away. Let me know in the comments below what kind of person are you when it comes to your laundry. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I, I hope I gave you all of the inspiration and motivation to get through your laundry and to organize out those things that may not be so fun to organize through, like the toys, for example, totally not my favorite thing to do but was well needed. Alright you guys, I will see you on Friday for a Decorate for Christmas part two for this year. I am so excited to reveal the dining room shelves to you guys. It is like one of my most favorite pieces in the house so far for Christmas decorations. So I will see you on Friday for that really fun video. Okay, bye guys.